Hello and welcome back to another Warframe video. So today I have a very stupid, stupid build that I love so much. Um, I was actually making another video and stumbled across this and thought, do you know what, this is actually going to be quite an interesting video. So I have in front of me the Latron Prime. Now this weapon is complete garbage in the sense that it has no ap applicable use anywhere that could be, that you could use any other weapon in, in replace of it and it would do marginally better, you know, idle on killing, boss boss killing, wave clear, it does none of these things. Um, it has okay damage at best, it has 15 rounds in the chamber, and it is sort of just like a DMR. It has no special gimmick, there's no cool thing about it, it's just sort of there. It's, it's a very old gun now, and it's just sort of like, well, what is the actual point? What is the point? So, the point is... Latron Prime, we are building our entire mod, our thing around Double Tap. So this is a Conclave mod. You get it from playing the Conclave. Don't ever do that, by the way. Uh, you're not missing out much. Trust me. Um, I'm sure I'm going to anger some Conclave lovers, but, it, you know, go and play any other game for PvP. This is not the game for PvP. Um, double Tap. So... You oh you also get this on Nightwave Season Three. Um, there's a few weeks left to grab it if you still want it uh, from there. Otherwise, enjoy Conclave. So, this this mod 20% bonus damage on the next shot for two seconds stacks up to 20 times outside of the Conclave. So basically, you shoot an enemy, you shoot them again, it stacks damage. You shoot them again, it stacks damage. And the moment you miss, that buff goes away, and it only lasts for two seconds. You need to keep the damage up. You need to keep keep the DPS up. Keep keep spamming them. It also says stacks up to 20 times, but you only have 15 shots. So you can't even max this mod out unless you have some sort of magazine capacity or a way around that. Now, this weapon is... Oh, oh God, right. There's, there's so many mods that could be put in place of the mods that I've put on here. But these are the mods that I've gone for because they all kind of are needed um, in, their, in their very own respect. Um, I guess split chamber is probably the only thing that I would swap out, but besides that, you know, you need you need these mods. Um, I wish that there, it's one of those weapons that I wish there was like two more slots so I could add some extra stuff in to make it, you know, a well-rounded weapon, but you can't. And unfortunately, I put six former into this thing, um, and it still sucks. Basically, um, I'm trying to be as accurate as I can. So, you saw that I had very high recoil. Now, the best way to sort recoil out is stabilizer. Let's put stabilizer on that. So now if I shoot the weapon. Far, far less recoil. That's glorious. So recoil has been beat. We don't need recoil. Accuracy. We can't take heavy caliber because of the minus accuracy. You're trying to be as accurate as possible. Um, you could take heavy caliber, but then you need to swap this out for like um, accuracy on hit and etc. etc. But I've taken heavy caliber out. So... I don't have Vital Sense, I have Point Strike, but I don't have Vital Sense, instead I have Hammer Shot for critical damage and status chance. It has very nice base 4.5 critical multiplier with Hammer Shot. It could be improved with Vital Sense and, and Vital Sense, but I need all the other mod slots for other, other things. I have my dual stats, uh, Viral works fine here, but I have Corrosive instead for the enemies that I'm shooting. Uh, I have Serration, and I have Split Chamber, and I lastly I have Shred. Now, you can take Speed Trigger. Um, but I take Shred because of the punch through, because if you shoot two enemies, it stacks twice. And that's, you know, two for one on your on your buff, and that's great. Um, also, you don't need to shoot that fast. It is nice, but Shred, shred works completely fine, especially when you're stacking enemies up. Now, the last thing to get around is the um, magazine. So I have 15 rounds. Now, I come, come across this, and I thought, how am I going to get around 15 rounds? Oh, Helmet just released. And we have all these glorious, glorious new abilities to add. And one of the one of those abilities is energized munitions. So increase the efficiency of your ammo consumption. So we now have beaten our 15 shots. We can shoot to our heart's content for 10 seconds. Um, and it will be glorious. We can get as many stacks as we can for free. Um, I put this on my Inneros because I wanted no extra damage from other places. I want to see. I want you you guys to see the weapon as it is. There's no extra buffs. So for in that respect, I have no arcane rage on. I have no crit cat. Um, I have no damage frame. Like I don't have chroma on, mirage, etc., etc. I have it on good old tanky Inneros. Bless his heart. He's been stabbed so many times um, in, in like various videos I'm trying to make uh, for this game. So yeah. Without further ado, let's test this thing out. 
So the idea is, I'm going to try and shoot it as many times as I can with energized munitions. These are corrupted Eximus units. And as you can see, level 150. That is solid damage. I'm getting a 500% damage increase, which is five times. Now, obviously, without uh, energized munitions, I keep saying that, um, it's not nearly as good. But the fact that I can shoot forever and ever and ever for 10 seconds is absolutely glorious. And I can stack as many shots as I can. And these enemies are getting absolutely trounced. I've tested this in the steel path. It does work. However, you know, the moment you miss a shot, let's try it out. So, like, let's stack up slowly. So, I'm at 300. I miss. It's gone. So... That that's the whole point of the uh, the whole point of the build is to try and be as accurate as possible and trying to hit the same enemy uh, over and over again. Um, this game does not reward that kind of style of gameplay in any way, so this is completely dumb build. But it does damage. You know, you have to respect that it does serious damage for what it for for what it's worth. I'm doing 25k damage per shot on on a on a pretty mediocre build at best. Um, it's good. It's actually good now. Just, just for testing purposes, let's take off Double Tap, and instead let's put on Argon Scope, and let's take off Shred and put Heavy Calibre on there instead. Um, and maybe we can swap out if we are lucky. I don't think we will be lucky. Let me swap that out. We can't. I was going to put Vital Sense, but Hammer Shot is fine. So we have a basically standard build. Let's put ten more of these guys in, and let's take, let's try, let's try the weapon out without um, Double Tap. And you can see the kind of damage I'm dealing. So Argon Scope and Heavy Calibre. I'm hitting quite big, but as you can see, it's nowhere near as fast. Absolutely nowhere near as fast as the uh, Double Tap, which is a very, very nice uh, increase in the damage. So I'm only hitting like 5k damage, whereas Double Tap was grunting me like 25k per shot. Now, let's take it to the complete extreme. Um, obviously, I'm not going to take Mirage because my Energized Munitions is on Inneros, but let's, uh, let's put back on... Double tap and shred. We have those back on now, so we're back to our normal build. Uh, let's take Arcane Rage. Let's take Arcane Rage. And let's take our Crit Cat Merlin. Always a good chappy. Gonna gonna give us those fat red crits. Probably not, but it, it is what it is. Alright, let's try it out again. Let's wait for Merlin to come along. Give us a cat's gaze. There we go. Hunting munitions, uh, energized munitions, stacking that raw damage up. 43k right there, 22k slash proc, very glorious. And yeah, it is absolutely a destructive force. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I had to show you. It's very dumb. Um, I wouldn't expect anybody to do this, but it is just funny just to see what you can kind of do with some of the dumb things that they add to this game. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again very soon. I have a new video coming out uh, shortly, uh, which I think you will like. Anyway, thank you very much, and I will see you later. Peace.